Hi, I am Anne, your virtual success advocate from Zaptis. Zaptis is a leading free and enterprise software test automation and RPA tool. To use the Zaptis free edition, check out our website, zaptis.com. When you're trying to think up which test cases to include in your smoke test, write a list of the core functionalities of your software and consider which of them are essential to running and using the software. Some examples of test cases for smoke testing may help you to determine which test cases to use in your own smoke test. 1. Validating login credentials. If your application requires that users log in, you may want to create a test case that checks whether the process of validating login credentials works as it should. To do this, create a script that automates the motions of logging in, running the test, and checking the results. If the software logs in as expected, this smoke test case passes. 2. Creating a new document. You could create a test case to assess whether your software allows users to create a new document properly. Create a script that automates document creation, naming, and saving in your software and run it. Any major issues that arise and prevent this process would mean that this smoke test fails. 3. Logging out. If your application has login functionality, it should also have logout functionality. Run a script to test what happens when users click log out. If the user cannot successfully log out when they click this button, the smoke test fails. If by now you have any inquiries or are considering learning more about Zaptist, drop a message on the website at the red widget and we would be pleased to help you along the way. Make sure to comment and share this video with your peers and colleagues. By seeing your interest we'd be making more videos like this, making hard topics easily digestible. Thank you for watching. Make sure to read the article, linked in the description.